welcome dr ankur singh he is a laboratory director and chief of the lab ankuram labs varanasi cost of the uh, today his topic is the cost of the lab test topic uh, uncommon interference in biochemistry uh, dr ankur is mbbs from the sn medical college agra dnb in pathology from the bhilai state uh, hospital bhilai former assistant professor in the pathology at himms varanasi worked as a lal path lab in varanasi establish ankuram labs at varanasi and currently laboratory director and chief lab chief of the lab at ankuram labs varanasi okay thank you for the introduction uh, good morning everyone my topic is very simple but it is also very important for someone like me who has started a lab recently a small setup so i will be discussing how to calculate a uh, cost of a test in a lab so these are the agendas so what is the importance of accurate costing so first is you have the control over your budget so if you know the cost of a test you can control the budget you can you can allocate funds strategically then of course decision making you just don't make decisions you make informed decisions because you know the your cost then of course quality improvement and at last you can decide the service price service price is just the cost of your test plus your margin of profit so what are the factors which in uh, which influence the cost it is very simple there are just two things to be simple the fixed cost and the variable cost the fixed cost are those cost which are fixed it doesn't matter you run the lab or you you go on a holiday you don't run any test you don't produce any test it will always occur these are fixed costs like the facility rent the utilities like your electricity bill the bmw charges the software charges and the administrative expenses etc then there are variable cost like the reagent and consumables and these variable cost they are the cost which occur when you run the cost when you run the test okay so then uh, third thing which is not mentioned are some hidden cost which you should always factor in like uh, recheck and reagent expiry and all those things so what are the common methods to calculate the cost of a test first method is time driven activity based costing time driven activity based costing or i say abc type of costing is i can relate to a test which requires your skill which requires your time which requires your uh, expertise so uh, for example you are performing fnac test in your in your lab or you are performing some procedure like bone marrow biopsies or uh, say histopathology so you cannot calculate the cost of that test just based on the you know the the things you uh, consume in those testing you have to factor in the time you have wasted oh, sorry sorry the time you have uh, 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 devoted uh, to those test then uh, second is test ingredient costing it just factors the the variable cost and does not include the fixed cost so it is not a very good costing method third is fully loaded costing fully loaded costing counts both the fixed cost and variable cost and it is very relevant for the test which are uh, uh, performed in biochemistry and clia based testing and uh, fourth is you don't do anything you just do a simple market research you get a uh, uh, you get a uh, list of uh, cost of uh, uh, price of uh, price of test of some other neighboring you know uh, lab and you just decide the cost but it will not help you in a long run so i will be discussing a small case study uh, an analysis on fully loaded costing method and uh, and it will be based on a very modest uh, costing uh, 
method and uh, I will be taking example of a TSH test and in a, in a very small lab which performs 50 samples per day. So suppose you are uh, running a small lab and you are performing 50 TSH tests and uh, in your lab then uh, first you have to calculate the fixed cost per test. So fixed cost per test. Uh, for this you have to note down the major fixed cost uh, which occurs per month. So you own a lab which has an area of 2,000 square feet and you pay a monthly rent of 50,000 rupees. So because the instrument is rental, you don't pay any monthly EMI, you don't pay anything extra for equipment cost for AMC, CMC. Then uh, there is some other significant cost like IT cost, software cost, electricity bill, administrative cost, and, power, uh, and uh, manpower. Of course, you yourself own the lab, so you forget to pay yourself. You don't pay yourself. So, but there is a problem. Uh, because every, every uh, uh, no lab uh, performs ha as a single instrument. A, um, a lab has multiple of instruments and no instrument performs only single test. Uh, for, uh, but some instruments like CBC analyzers, they perform single test. But in biochemistry, no machine performs a single test. So it is very difficult to calculate the cost uh, of a test, per test cost. So uh, the formula is fixed cost per test is, is, is equal to total fixed cost divided by number of tests. So, so, so uh, for that, you need further information. So the total lab space is 2,000 square feet. And uh, so the space occupied by your instrument uh, will be around 100 square feet, which includes the uh, area which is blocked by your instrument for performing that test. So for, for 2,000 square feet, you pay 50,000. For 100 square feet, you'll be paying 2,500 per month. And the cost per day will be 83. And because you perform 50 tests, so the cost per test will be 1.6 rupees. Then the number of uh, non-technical staff involved in, in that uh, test, uh, in performing uh, that test on that instrument, will uh, suppose there are two non-technical staff, salary is 15,000, so it will be 30,000 for both, and per day cost will be 100, and uh, for 50 tests, it will be 20 rupees. Then technical staff, same way, and uh, other information which does not include the fixed cost but is required for calculation. You need to know the total cycle of tests per day, total num number of tests performed in one cycle, cost of controls you perform, a level of controls you perform, the cost of calibration, and the frequency of calibration. So the total uh, fixed cost comes around 54.9 rupees for that TSS test. So the step three is calculating the variable cost. These are the uh, variable cost, uh, pre-testing cost, your syringe cost, needle cost, cotton spirit, and all those things. Then, uh, then, then the uh, cost of the reagent, number of tests per kit, effective test kit, effective test per kit, then controls, calibrations. So all boils down to 4.2 rupees, 5.3 rupees, and 41 point. 6 rupees. So total variable cost will be around 51.1 rupees. Then it is very simple. You add the fixed cost and the variable cost. And it comes around 106 rupees. But it is a very simple calculation. We have made some assumptions. So, uh, so assumption is facility is rented. You don't own that facility. One-time one infrastructure and civil work, the cost which occurred to you was not accounted. Instrument is rental. Doc, because it is a small lab, doctor-owned lab, salary, his salary is not accounted, and uh, another, uh, other unexpected costs are not accounted. So if you account all these other factors also, 
then it can easily add rupees 100 to that uh, 100 uh, rupees earlier. So the take home point is the cost per test is equal to fixed plus variable cost. Cost of region and control is negligible for most tests. Rental agreement for instrument decreases cost. Then rental property decreases cost. Doing more tests with the same instrument decreases cost. And not, it is not feasible to arrive for exact cost for each and every test in the lab. So at last, uh, I extend a warm invitation to you all to visit Varanasi. And uh, uh, this is my hometown. And it has it is a, a rich history, a vibrant culture, and it has an aura of uh, you know spirituality around its uh, ghats. So it cannot be explained in words; it has to be experienced. So I welcome you all to visit once in your life Varanasi. Thank you. Thank you.